Hey guys, Ultramax is back with another toy review. This time we're going to take a look at a DC Comics toy, and it's from the Superman line, DC Superheroes, and it's Steel. This is a great figure. Uh, it's a great character. I, this is probably my favorite character out of the reign of the Superman from back in the 90s. Yes, yeah, the 90s is when this guy came out. And... Superman had died, and there were a bunch of different Superman taking over the different books. It was a big, huge story arc, and he was my favorite, John Henry Irons. He was an iron worker that basically looked to Superman as a mentor. Superman had saved him one time, and he wanted to honor the dead hero by putting on the Superman shield. And he basically, he's Iron Man with a Superman shield. And he built an iron suit, wears the cape, and he goes around with rocket boots, and he's got these cool little blaster uh, things that shoot rivets out of his wrists, and he's going after bad guys. And he's still one of the best characters out there. He's had some changes and tweaks since he was debuted, since Superman came back. He's gotten rid of the exact Superman shield logo and has gone with a variation of the S on the chest. And there's also been incarnations of him without any kind of S on the chest and no cape which I don't particularly care for. I personally like this version. I wish that he would go back to the classic Superman shield with the rivets around. I think that looks amazing. Now, this particular figure, there was two versions. There were two versions of this figure produced. This version I have my hand, which is the matte finish version, and there was a chrome version. So all the parts on this figure, they're kind of a lighter silver color. They actually were the chrome plastic, and that version of the figure in package goes for about $90, $93. This particular version goes for, in package, about $50, $54 right now. I've had this figure since 2007 when it came out. I was actually living in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I moved down there for a job for a little while and found this at a Family Dollar. I believe it's called Family Dollar or Family General. I can't remember the name of the store. And I found it in there, and it was about $5 back then. So $5 to $50, it's not bad. Of course, I'm never going to get rid of it. I like the figure. I like the sculpt. Um, looking, unfortunately, you know, my package is a little warped. But like I said, I'm never getting rid of the guy, so that's okay. So here's a picture of the back. These are all the different figures that came in this particular series. There was the Steel, a Superman, a Supergirl, a Red Doomsday, the Parasite, and Bizarro. And of these figures, I think the Bizarro and the uh, Steel figure were the best out of all of them. Um, the site says, hey, get Supergirl, Superman, Steel, collect them all, woo! Uh, we have, this is kind of weird, absolutely nothing on the back. There's a barcode's back here. And it's got the Superman logo down there, all kinds of neat stuff. On this side, we got the Superman logo, Steel, of course it says um, DC Superheroes over here. We get this really nice star imprint on the package to kind of go with the DC star. This was the good DC logo. I don't like the Peel logo right now, but it is what it is. And this is the comic book styling, and it came with a little diorama to display this guy with. And, and this is some really great detail. If you look at this guy, I mean, he just looks really cool. We've got this massive Superman logo, and you can tell we've got all kinds of rivets around it. He's got rivets everywhere on his body. Just the muscle detail is so cool i love the hammer i love the way it looks i love the tech uh molded into the staff there uh steel's face just looks amazing just really well done really well painted um it just i mean the detail on his belt he's got his little uh wrist blasters that shoots the rivets out and even down the side you've got all the different piping and his boots have got just all this great little detail on him. Just absolutely an amazing figure. So I really do recommend, if you're a Superman fan, if you are a Steel fan, Justice League fan, this is definitely one to pick up, whether it's loose or if it's in package. And if you can find the Chrome one, absolutely pick it up. I've been looking for that guy, like I said, for years. I still can't find him. But just really great detail, and I love... He's got a nice dark red cape. That's uh, nice and plastic molded. This thing, I'm sure, would look great sitting out of package. I'd love to get another one and, and set it up with some other figures because this looks more like a statue than it does a toy. So 
unfortunately, he you don't see too many of them anymore. And you really didn't see that many of them when he was out. So definitely one to look for, one to pick up if you're at a convention or something and you like the sort of thing. Go for him. I, I really do recommend him. He's a great figure. So there he is, Steel from the Superman comics. Man of Steel, much better than that horrible Shaquille O'Neal movie. Thanks for watching, guys, and look for more videos in the future. Woo!